Hello everyone, welcome back to the another exciting session of Tech Demos. Today we are covering recently introduced fascinating feature of NSX 4.1.2 which is GRE Tunnel. So let's jump into it. So about the GRE. A GRE is a generic routing encapsulation. Tunnel is a protocol that encapsulates a wide variety of network layer protocol into point-to-point -point connections. It allows the creation of a virtual point-to-point -point link between two endpoints, typically routers across the IP network. GRE tunnels are often used for building overlay networks, connecting remote sites over the internet, or creating secure connections between networks. So jumping to the next slide, these are the some support or not supported features under the GRE tunnel. So GRE tunnels are stateless and are supported with the following. Active standby edge cluster, Active Active Stateless, Static Routes, BGP, BFD, IPv4 and IPv6 workloads. There are some limitations for the GRE functionality in the NSX. No Layer 4 through Layer 7 services. GRE cannot be configured on Active Active Stateful Gateway. Multicast over GRE is also not supported. NSX, Federation, OSPF. IPv6 address cannot be used for outer IP address for the GRE tunnels. For like like we usually configure the GRE tunnel based on the IPv4, but IPv6 not is not supporting. And PMTU and TCMSS, these are also not supported under the GRE tunnel. Moving to the next slide, this is the lab topology. On the left, we can see VRF blue segment which is a 172.16.10.0/24 which is further connected to the VRF blue T1 VRF blue T1 further connected to the VRF blue T0 T0 further connected to the parent T0 and this is further connected to the ISP router again if on on the right side if you click, uh, look at that client network is further connected to the client router which is the BIOS and BIOS router is further connected to the same ISP router so here's one more thing, VRF Blue having the BGP neighborship with the ISP router. So what we are going to perform, we are creating a tunnel between this IP or you can say from the VRF T0 to that client RTR. So that IP which is a 192.168.250.1 and this IP which is a 192.168.210.2 has to be reachable each other then we are going to perform the GRE tunnel from here to there so I would show you in demonstration so jumping to the lab so I would show you the configuration uh, prior to the GRE tunnel so let me jump to the network topology so if you look at there were so VRF blue segment like I said this is connected to VRF blue T1 and VRF T0 and further it's connected to 10 using the using the you know BGP to this one. So uh, jumping to the TS0 VRF let me show you the status of the BGP. So you can see the BGP neighborship is up and also established. And if I'm jumping to the parent tier one, you can see it's connected to the parent T0. So now I'm jumping to the parent. And here I want to show you the neighborship, this one as well as. So this is also established. Okay, so like I said, so we have the neighborship from here to here. We have the neighborship from here to here as well as. So closing this one okay. so now what we need we need to define the new interface on the VRF blue which is a GRE tunnel interface so how we are going to do that under the VRF and and this feature is only applicable for the tier 0 or tier 0 VRF only okay so uh, parent parent or uh, you can say parent tier 0 or the VRF tier 0 
okay so here uh, what we need to do it uh, we need to edit this one and define under the interfaces GRE we need to click set interface GRE interface and tunnel so the name of the tunnel so tunnel going to be defined any random name tunnel so I have used tunnel 150 and the destination IP address destination IP address according to this one destination IP is like I said 192.168.250.1 192.168.250.1 and then tunnel addresses so tunnel address add tunnel address define which edge is going to be served this service so we need to define that 01 source interface this one as a source interface like this one I said 192.168.210.2 this is the source interface Tunnel interface subnet. So uh, this one is going to be what's an uh, tunnel interface subnet. This is the R subnet 192.168.150.0 slash 24. So this has to be source interface. So 192.168.150.1 slash 24. And then click on the add. So we need to define this one as a source and this one is the interface of this and apply and then click on save close it and parallelly we need to add the configuration on the client router as well as so this is the configuration which we need on the client so we need to set that the tunnel 150 there as well as so i'm using a wireless router so you can take a pause and take the screenshot or you can you know just note down somewhere and add this one so this is a condition which we need to set up the tunnel over the gr over the wireless side so let me see the status so enable nothing so far we need to wait for some time it probably take a uh, couple of minutes to get that up because it's going to be negotiation between both the sides okay so now we can see the tunnel is up so what we need here so we have done this one then we need to so, so hence the tunnel is up between both the sides let me quickly jump to the router and show you the status there as well as so mm, let me quickly so, so this. interface tunnel please i believe this is the command okay so we can see tunnel is up show interface tunnel tunnel status and you can see u u means it's up okay so what we need here so we have performed the tunnel tunnel is up so we need to add the route for which so we need to tell that so this one if we need to from this network if we need to reach to this network we need to define here the gateway for this network you need to route the traffic on the this interface ip this is tunnel interface 192.168.150.2 which is where that is on the client side so if i'll show you the thing here let me jump to the gre and if i would show you tunnel stat You can see this is source and this is the destination IP. Okay, and tunnel status is up. And let me define the route for it. Static route, add route to client router define the network which is a network there 10.0.250.0 10.0.250.0 10.0.250.0 10.0.250.0 10.0.250.0 10.0.250.0 10.0.250.0 10.0.250.0 10.0.250.0 10.0.250.0 10.0.250.0 10.0.
set next shop set next shop there's ip of this one 192 160 at 150.2 admin would be the same add apply save way to initialize okay done close close editing so if I'm looking this topology, we have built the tunnel here. So what we need to do, we need to perform the testing. So let me go to the VM. So first make sure that VM sits on the segment, blue segment that is fine and has to be same IP. Hmm. IP config 10. Dot uh, 172.16.10.11 perfect need to be reached on the IP what is IP here click on 10.0.250.11 so let me initiate a ping 10.0.250.11 dot 11 okay now you can see we are able to reach that destination so from here this is IP from here we are able to reach to that VM and reverse let me try to ping it ping 172.16.10.11 dot dot 11 okay yeah so this is a correct IP we are also able to reach it so let me show you one more thing let it ping while pinging let me do the trace so what traffic is picking or what path it's picking trace out minus D 172.16 you can see it's picking the tunnel does to route the traffic and let me go to the another side as well as okay we reached and let me try to ping oh, sorry trace of iphone d 10.0.250.11 here it's picking the same 150.2 so when we are routing the traffic from here we are seeing this is going to be a you know, third octet and the reverse we are seeing this is going to be second octet from here to here okay so let me show you one more thing uh, over the status how we can see the status here if I am jumping to the VRF and this one So now we can see tunnel stats. So we can see the data here 50 MB of data traffic. So this is the beauty of the that you know interesting feature which is recently introduced under the 4.1.2 which is a GRE tunnel which we have performed and we are able to you know bypass this entire traffic or entire you know we are just isolating and we just created a tunnel encrypted tunnel between this VRF toward this one it can be at performed from this one as well as we can set up the tunnel from here as well as or we can you know just just the idea is that these public IPs has to be reachable so right now in the lab, so we are I'm using RFC 1918 addresses, but in the production or in the uh, different environment like internet, so that IP has to be reachable, and you have to define the subnet which is you know works in between that one. This is tunnel subnet, and then you can perform your uh, routing stuff. So thanks for the joining today's session. So I hope this has been informative for you. Thanks. Bye bye. If you are enjoying our content, so don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell.
थैंक यू